Hello investors and welcome back to Just Randy Stocks. Let's talk about Proterra and Happy New Year's Proterra community. So I left this marker in here $8.80 because this was the buy range. This was the signal. If it went to this line or below, if you check out the last video that I did on Proterra, this is where you add to your position. So this is when it was low. This was the opportunity to cost average down or start a position if you wanted to get in Proterra. So if you watch these videos, you know last year I walked this all the way down to $8 the first time. We walked it all the way up to $12.50 and above where I was explaining that I believe this was high and then received a little, just a tiny bit of criticism because I was very bearish on this coming back down. But in the $8 range, I was like, look, this should be the last time for you to be able to get this in the $8 range. Sort of just helping to try and stimulate people uh, because if there wasn't a macroeconomic indicator that was going to happen or something at a higher level, there was no reason for this to not receive support, you know, above $9. And, you know, analysts are going to come around and other portions of the business are going to grow. And that's what we're going to start seeing this year. And this is a 2023 play. So if we look at this line, it's really respecting the technicals and it is coming down here. It is getting support coming up and it is being rejected. Uh, so nothing crazy is happening. This isn't going to be one that I believe you're going to see 1,000, 2,000 percent gains or a few hundred. But if you want a stable stock that isn't crashing beyond belief, 40, 50 percent, anything crazy, if you want something stable in your portfolio, I believe this is one that you considered adding. I believe people are going to start coming back way too late once they start seeing this gaining support and I think there's a few opportunities to still add to your portfolio or start a position I believe you're going to be high I don't know that this is going back into the eight dollar range anymore that's going to continue to be my thesis but I would not buy this anything over 901 if it comes back to the eight dollar range this one's a buy that's what I see from the charts here you can see there was some green candlestick action three green candlesticks which pushed this up it had some momentum and then it closed the day it's starting to lose support i don't think it's going to go too much higher we aren't going to break 10 today and then we got the cpi numbers that are coming out let's take a look at that real quick we've got january 12th at 8 30 a.m is when the cpi data for december is going to come out so we'll have to see how that goes but people have been buying these dips there's a lot of money on the sidelines now let's talk about this Barron's report and why I didn't just come out and start talking about this all excited because this is all information that we already know. So for those of you not familiar with Proterra and you're just like, Randy, I just like watching your videos. Proterra is about electric buses. It's been a bumpy road for them. $10 SPAC price. They've been a merger of the whole SPAC process and $10 is typically that price. This took off like crazy. Some people bought really high. People have made decisions since then, uh, but anything under $10 may not spell an opportunity for all SPACs, but it does spell an opportunity for Proterra because they are putting legitimate money on the books. We'll look at their income statement in a, in a few moments. Proterra has about 50% of the developed bus market. Roughly five to 6,000 transit buses are sold annually in North America. I like how they have that range. They got this information from Bloomberg, so they just put it together. 243 million is what they're saying. That's not the projections that we're getting from Proterra's uh, investor slide presentation dated January 2021. Now, they should be refreshing this. And I would expect these numbers to be even higher than they are now with their backlog that they've grown uh, in January, Feb uh, January uh, to to December this this last year, that they've been growing that backlog. So even though they're missing it by three million dollars, you can see two hundred forty three. This is two hundred forty six. I believe it's even more than that. Eighty eighty percent of their revenue is coming from buses, and you can see how that's projected to change. You're seeing that Proterra powered and energy when this starts to come true. And you can see this slice of the pie here, this gray, 114% compared to 39% of Proterra Transit in the future. Look at the bus growth. The bus growth just very inching up compared to this overwhelming battery supply and powered infrastructure 
software side of the business is supposed to absolutely boom. And I think that's the real story that you're going to start seeing take shape this year that's really going to catch a lot of people by surprise. So $407 million for 2022 and $784 million respectively for 2023. That's why I've always said that if you're in this play, this is a 2023 play. Look, we are doubling revenue almost this, this coming up year from 2021 to 2022. And then from 2022 to 2023, and you should see double in the share price. So we're sitting at, what, $9, over $9. We're at $9.70 now. It's it's trying to get up there. It's trying to get back into the $10 range. This was the year that I thought we were going to close out at $23. You know, that was my hope. That was my wish. That's where I thought and, and believed it deserved to be, but that wasn't realistic. I was honest with everyone. We could beat our drum and I could act like this is going to be $300, but that's just not realistic. So we're going to go through some more realistic price targets in here. They do battery systems. Bank of America has got a price target of $15. Proterra announced plans for their third battery pack facility in December, which is supposed to really absolutely multiply the gigawatt hours of annual production capacity that they're is ultimately going to help them accomplish exactly this this path that they mapped out early so they've always had a plan now you're starting to see that plan develop and come uh, tangible so proterra also does charging stations for commercial fleets ev powertrains electric charging equipment and software for customers see this really doesn't have anything in it that's new the power back to the grid, the innovation, a slice of information from the new CEO who took who took uh, control of the company January 1st. So it's, it's good to see that Gareth Joyce has got his name associated with innovation. I think those are things that are going to be important to attract investors to come back to this play. Obviously, buy ratings as far as 24.75, which is 170%. Uh, put upside potential at 20 times 2025 estimated EBITDA, and it's got a $25 price target today. 17 times Russell 2000 growth index. That's how much you know things that are in Russell typically aggressively trade for. 17 times. So uh, six analysts have this at a $16 price target, almost a 70 percent upside potential and it closes out with saying this is a speculative stock which you know I don't believe it's speculative at all I believe this is where you want to play short term up to 2023 while these other competitors figure out what exactly they're going to do to be more disruptive so I, I mean this is a huge growth play they've got 2022 the fifth generation of battery we know that news is coming out did a video briefly talking about how this is you know, going to be an important factor. We've got tip ranks really hasn't been updated. It's only got this 20% upside potential this year. I think it's much higher than that. And we've got Yahoo. This hasn't been updated either. So as this is where the catalyst is, as this starts to get updated, these analyst price targets for this year start to get updated. That's where we've got potential. Now, what do you and I know that have been following this? We gotta we gotta take a look at the next earnings, right? Because I don't want to close on a gloomy note, but I want to be honest. I've always been honest with you guys about this play. I've reached out to the leadership team, asked them some questions, and maybe in the next video I'll share you, I'll share with you an update on that. Now I've been talking with the uh, relations person, Aaron Chu, uh, for investor relations about some questions that I have. I gave him about nine or ten questions. And I've asked for time with the CEO because all of this information doesn't tell us anything new, right? It doesn't tell us anything about decreasing the build time. It doesn't tell us whether we're still going to miss five to 10 buses in Q4. But you've got to listen to what the leadership team tells you. And if that's what's going to happen, for them to meet their price target right now, these last three quarters, gives them $174.45 million. And if you go back here, for 246 million is the estimated revenue to close the year out that would mean in Q4 analysts have this at 69 million 
to close out this year with their price projections from January 2021, they have to hit 71.55 million to make Q4. And with them projecting that they're going to miss five to 10 buses, if you're considering that 80% of the revenue is made up of buses, and of course, this is just an estimate, that would mean 71.55 million. They would be missing that by 10 million, which would put them at 61 million. Uh, and if they missed it by five, that would put them at about 60, what, four, 65 million. So, I mean, it's not going to be anything crazy because they're just now starting their second shifts or they will be starting their second shifts in Q1 of 2022. We're going to hear more about that. I don't think they've done it yet. I think that Q4 is still going to be mediocre. It's going to be flat, I would say, just like you've seen these last three quarters. And those are my expectations. But now is the time to secure your position for that growth that I know we will see in 2022, 2023. As supply chain concerns start to get alleviated, you know, I believe they're going to wrap their arms around the other sections of this business that are going to start growing. And they're going to have a huge opportunity outside of the buses to really grow that revenue. And that's what you should expect to see. This is a banger. Keep it on your watch list. Absolutely confident. If you want to contribute to the channel, be sure to look at that description. There's two links, one for Robinhood, one for Weeble, no tricks, all free stocks. If you're going to sign up for a second account, you might as well use one of those codes below. If you want to contribute to the channel, $5, as little as buying me a coffee each month to help me sustain this channel. Really appreciate it. Be sure to check out the description and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.